The aim at BMW has always been to design transducers that accurately reproduce the signal. It's really quite easy to create a sound, but it's much more, much more difficult to reproduce accurately a signal. Now, this aim translates in tweeters to creating a device that moves as a rigid piston over the frequency range required, which is really the audible range, which is the range from range below 20 kilohertz. Now, as you go up in frequency, a point is reached where the speaker ceases to behave in a nice controlled way and it starts to resonate. Um, now, the frequency at which this occurred is, occurs is usually called the breakup frequency. As you go beyond the breakup frequency, more and more resonances uh, are encountered. Now, the problem with resonance is that it really imparts a character to the speaker, which obviously then is not consistent with our aim of accurately reproducing uh, a signal. So BMW have, for a long time, used aluminium dome tweeters. Aluminium is a really good material to use. It's relatively light and stiff, um, and really it results in a, in a relatively high breakup frequency. Over the years, we've managed to sort of uh, to optimise the mechanical design, and we've improved the breakup frequency from about 23 kilohertz to 30 kilohertz, uh, as in the 800 series two. Um, we found that with each improvement in breakup frequency, uh, the resulting tweeter sounded much cleaner. Now we found this really curious because, as I already said, you can only really hear up to 20 kilohertz. What what difference does it make? if you improve a breakup frequency from 23 to 30 kilohertz. So we started to wonder uh, why this was uh, and really uh, about ways that we could improve the breakup frequency much further. So we started to look at alternative materials that we could use instead of the aluminium. And there's quite a few materials that you could use, but the ultimate material to use uh, from a rigidity, a, a kind of dynamic stiffness point of view, is diamond. Uh, by using diamond, we were able to create a tweeter that breaks up at 70 kilohertz compared with a, a value of 30 kilohertz with the standard aluminium domes. What this means is that when you compare the response of the diamond tweeter with the perfect hypothetical rigid tweeter, the, the responses are very similar below 20 kilohertz. So we think there's a dramatic improvement, in, uh, there's a dramatic improvement in performance that results. The resulting tweeter sounds more effortless, um, and yet more detailed and has a much more realistic sound stage than the standard aluminium tweeter.